Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through site link extensions and Google Ads in 2022, what they are, what they're good for, and my best recommended practices for them. Uh, essentially, what is a site link extension? And I actually made a nice little document up here. A site link extension, as you can see here, is all the little links below here. And it offers the customer more things to pick from as opposed just to seeing your one link for your ad. And it really allows them to go after what they want. So maybe they're really interested in, let's say for example, we're a pool installation company. They really wanna see the awards you've won, or they really wanna see your guarantee or the pools you've already created. You could have links for each one of these individually it really makes the customer feel like they have the option to choose what they want around your site and they don't really need to even be that big or different from your main actual landing page or website they just have to have a few different changes to make the customer feel like it's their choice and the nice thing about them too is they don't give the customer just crazy amounts of options where i see a lot of websites they'll have just you know 37 different pages that you can choose from and, and what happens is it's called cognitive overload where you just give the customer too many options they don't know what they actually want and they really want their path guided for them they want you know one to four options they don't want too many and that's why i absolutely love site link extensions because you could send these people to a dedicated landing page that is specific for one site link extension so maybe you make you know a pool installation one as your main landing page and then from there you could have four site link extensions one for your awards one for your certifications guarantee uh, maybe just even a contact us one and it really allows the customer to feel like they're choosing but also to, for you to direct them into what you want them to do and they can be absolutely phenomenal when it comes to conversion rates and really help with allowing your account to grow and gain even more high quality leads another thing i should add in about site link extensions or what are the benefits of them and really what you're aiming for in an ad is to make it as big as possible and the reason we want this is because the bigger the ad is the more likely someone is to see it the more likely they are to click on it and the more likely you are to get a lead from it because they you know they clicked on it and the higher the click-through rate generally the higher your ad rank is going to be meaning Google's going to lower your cost per click uh, they're going to give you more favorability in the auction house you're going to get more leads from that your account is going to be more successful so it is very important to have very good and high quality site links when creating your Google Ads account. Those are just a couple of the benefits. There's so many when it comes to site link extensions. I recommend almost every business be using them. Uh, if you don't really have landing pages or web pages, uh, then I could see not using them, but for almost any service-based business, they're absolutely fantastic and you should use them. Now, how do we go about creating site link extensions? The first thing we have to do is come to our campaign and then hit our extension button over here under the ads and extension. And then we're gonna hit the blue plus icon. And what we have to do is hit site link extension, and then it's going to pop up uh, a whole bunch of site links that we can create. So as you can see here, our site link is in the mobile view here. We can also, I believe, yep, switch over to desktop. And the first thing we wanna do is we can add this to the account level or the campaign level. If you're only selling one specific service, chances are you can get away with just adding it to the account level, uh, even if you have multiple campaigns, because if all these site links apply to all of your campaigns, you can just set it to the account level. If you have very unique campaigns and they're very different services, so maybe you're doing um, HVAC installation and then HVAC repair, and the site links for those two campaigns are gonna be very different, I would set them at the campaign level. Most of the time, you won't ever have to touch the ad group level. That's a little bit too detailed, and it's gonna take a lot of work, time, and it's generally not worth it. So what I recommend doing is coming down here, hit create new if you don't already have site link extensions, and then we're gonna build out a few site link extensions. So what we're gonna do now is actually come up with our site link text, and this is gonna be our main title for our site link. So maybe it's uh, award-winning pools, uh, award winning pulls and keep in mind here this is only 25 characters as opposed to a normal headline which is 30 characters so it's got to be short really try to get into the mind of your customer what would they be really having concerns about or what would they be thinking about when they're buying your product so maybe if you're an hvac it could be you know certifications am i getting a, an installer that actually knows what they're doing do they have testimonials what what really helps me make the decision to go with you and really have to be in that mindset of the customer and like okay i can help them with their problems and i can give them more information that's going to be able to make a decision and that's really what we want to do with site link extend really give them the opportunity if they have one real big problem to be able to click on that and then actually figure out if you're worth going with or not 
So once we come up with our site link text or the header, we're going to come down here to the description line, and this is actually going to be below the site link text uh, or the header. Uh, and we're just going to go on about what we do. So we could say um, over 50 awards issued in 2022. Um, uh, we could put number one in, let's say, Ontario which is a province here in Canada, if you're not familiar with that, number one pool, pool installer in Ontario. Uh, of course, please make sure this is all actually factual. Don't just put number one for the sake of putting number one. But if you actually have the awards to prove it, it definitely helps. And the description can just go into greater detail about your actual site link. So anything more about like award winning or certifications, just go in a little bit more depth, add your descriptions to talk a bit more about it. And then what we're going to do is add our final URL. So the final URL is where do we want the customer to go after they click on this site link if they choose to do so. And generally, I would recommend the closest landing page or web page that you have available. Uh, to the award-winning pools or whatever your title is. So for this, I'm going to take the example of Elite Pools. Shout out to them. They're a pool builder here in Canada. Uh, and I'm going to use their final URLs for this. So I'm going to paste the final URL in here. So now when someone clicks on the award-winning pools, they're going to go to the final URL of Elite Pool slash about. That should actually be award-winning. Uh, they don't have that on their website, but that's what I would recommend. Make sure this is as specific as possible and give the customer the most uh, information they want about their selected problem. Moving on, I'm actually just going to fill these out and then come back. I'm gonna save us a little bit of time uh, just because it might be a little bit boring to watch me type all of these out, uh, but then I'll, I'll come back and I'll read them over and then I'll go over and explain what I was thinking. All right, so I'm back and I went through and created out the other site link extensions. As you can see here, I added certified pool installers. So this is great if people are looking for guarantees, if they're looking for that you're a professional, you have all of your credentials. Uh, as you can see here in the description, we added it's certified by the PHTCC Pool Hot Tub Council of Canada. That's what that stands for. So if you have any certifications or any documents that say you're better than everyone else, I would definitely recommend adding them. It really helps when it comes to uh, making your company look professional and being trusted by a lot of people. You can also add in, uh, I would put testimonials too, if that's a really big thing. You have a lot of testimonials. That's a great landing page to have. It uh, really just shows all the social proof and that your customers are happy with you and you can deliver on what you say you can deliver on. That's another great one to have. I actually broke the, the last two ones up into certified or fiberglass pools and vinyl pools. These are the two most common type of pools we generally see when dealing with pool installation customers here at Tradesman Digital Marketing. Uh, most people know fiberglass and vinyl pools. If someone's looking for one specific pool, they can click on this. This is another great site link to add. Uh, you could also add in a whole bunch more site links. I recommend filling out as many as possible. That way Google can uh, switch all of them around, figure out which one's the best, and then implement that. And it really helps with click-through rates as well. If you have more space taken up in your actual ad, it's really going to help with click-through rates and people seeing your ad. And if they're more likely to see it, they're more likely to click on it, which helps with click-through rates. So I generally recommend adding as many site links as possible. Google's only going to show four, but chances are one's not going to be great. So I'd add as many site links as possible. This gives you the best chance of success inside Google Ads. And I really recommend adding as many as possible just because you want the you want Google to figure out which one's the best for you and show them as often as possible uh, so you can have a higher click-through rate, which affects your ad rank, which uh, allows you to get lower cost per click, which gives you more leads, which gives you more account success. So that overall, once we've done all this, we can just hit save. There's advanced options if you only wanted to run certain days. I don't recommend that. If you're going to set a start and end date, I would recommend doing it at a campaign or account level. I don't think doing it here is a proper or appropriate time to do it. Just because it's too minute, I just wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, if you have a tracking template, you can add that, but most people don't, and it's not really something you need to worry about. So all we have to do is hit save, and then our site links will be saved, and we are good to go. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about site links, leave them down in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day, and take care.